Hi there, folks. This is Mr. Mega Man Fan. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. You know all the things to do. I haven't done a product review for a little bit, so I think it's time to get back in the groove. Not the Emperor's new groove. Pull the lever, Kronk! Nope. This is a Mr. Mega Man Fan groove where we check out products and see if they're worth the money you spend on them. And what do we have here? A bag in a bag. But this bag has a QR code. It says, join our Discord server at guineapiggames.com slash Discord, which might tell you what's inside here. But if it doesn't, I will show you. Just gotta break the seal and slide it out. And what we have here is an extender for Analog Duo so that you can plug in games that don't fit into that tight slot on the Duo. And I tried this before with a PC Engine to Turbo Graphics adapter board that I had for my PC Engines to play Turbo Graphics games, but that didn't manage to resolve an EverDrive being plugged into the slot. And I have a feeling this one actually will. So we're gonna find out. And if it works, it was worth $50 for the convenience of being able to use an EverDrive. That way you don't have to jailbreak an analog duo to play ROMs. And if it doesn't work, then you should probably just jailbreak an analog duo if you have one. You might prefer to anyway, but I thought it was at least worth a try. I mean, I can even see some edge use cases if this works. Like, you don't want to go through the process of putting stuff on an SD card when you could just have your EverDrive be the SD card and go back and forth between a Turbo Graphics and an Analog Duo, so long as you can use the Who card slot. So, let's try that out and let's see how it does. Okay, so I've already got the Analog Duo turned on, a controller synced to it, and the cartridge extender from Guinea Pig Games is plugged in. And, just to make things even more interesting, I have two different flavors of Turbo EverDrive that I will try with this. The original Turbo EverDrive and the Turbo EverDrive Pro. So let's start with the original model and see if we can actually read this thing now. And what's nice already is that this never fit in the slot before because it was too thick, so. And on the screen, you can't see it. It says play cue card, so I'm gonna have to tilt this up and raise up the tripod so you can see what I'm talking about, but it already detected it, so I consider that a fantastic start. I'd have to zoom the camera out a little bit so you can really see this. All right, play cue card. So this is already way farther than we got previously. Uh, no. It still does not like it. It reads it, but it doesn't like it. This is pretty much the same thing that happened before when we tried it with the cartridge adapter for playing Turbo Graphics on a PC engine. But we can try the EverDrive Pro as well. So pop this out, grab the Pro. we'll see something magical, but I'm not counting on it. Well, once again, it says play cue card, but will it? Oh! Well, what do you know? The EverDrive Pro is working. 
How about them apples? I was honestly not expecting that. Well, for some people, this is going to be very welcome news. If you own the original Turbo Everdrive, it won't help, but if you have the Pro model, you could do this. So, one second here while I put my original Turbo Everdrive back in the TurboGrafx-16 where it belongs. It's a snug fit even in a real Turbo Graphics, let me tell you. Okay. Did I have any CD games on the EverDrive Pro? I need to check. No. Currently no CD games on here, so... I think the real test is going to be... If I put a CD game on here and can run it from the hue card slot. So I'm going to take just a moment to do that and we'll be right back. All right, we're back and I picked out a couple of CD games pretty much at random. Let's pop this in and let's see if we can run CD games off Turbo Everdrive Pro from the hue card slot. Because then we have really achieved the ultimate way to not jailbreak your duo and still have all the functionality of a jailbreak play hue card yes we want to do that dynastic hero yes we want to do that oh i forgot to put a bios for cd games in there well that's just dumb on my part Learn from my mistakes. I'll be right back. All right, I now have BIOS 3.0 in the Ed Turbo folder on the micro SD card, so it should all be downhill sledding from here. Play Hue card, and we'll do that. Select Dynastic Hero, start game. Push run, just a moment. And would you look at that? I mean, they are super picky about where you stand in front of those doors. All right, this is all fine and good, but I want something with a little more sound going on. So let's go to the four in one super CD. Booga booga. That's more like it. All right. I'd say guinea pig games made a product that's well worth your money. I'm Mr. Mingman fan. Thanks for watching.